How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and I'm here with Paul, Senior Product Line Manager at New Balance. And Paul, it wasn't that long ago that we were at TRE, given the full breakdown on the new Vongo V6, but you know, I want to take a little bit of a step back and look at the early days of the Vongo because it's got some history and it really was a shoe that innovated in that stability space. Can you give us the breakdown of where this shoe started? Yeah, boy, it's such a great story. Back in 2013 and 2014, we wanted to rethink the way that we looked at stability. We knew that we could provide inherent stability through new ideas such as shapes of our, uh, the base form of our shoes. Um, different midsole compounds, different ways that we would emboss or deboss the materials and the fresh foam materials that we're using. But most importantly, we knew we could provide stability without just slapping a large medial post underneath the arch. And so really the Vongo series was bred out of this idea of innovative stability, but making sure that consumers that were wearing stability shoes, they felt that they could be provided the best cushion that a brand had to offer at the exact same time. Really, there was no compromise when it came to cushion and stability when it came to the Vongo model series, starting with version one. So let's dive into version one. I remember when that shoe came out, there was this term called the Varus Wedge. I oh, never boy. heard about that. Can you tell us about V1 and what that was like designing that shoe? Yeah, absolutely. What well, was really fun, and, and I, I've been with New Balance almost 10 years now, so really uh, my time at New Balance has really coincided with the Vongo model series and I remember even specifically our big launch event that we had in Brooklyn I believe to launch this new stability idea in this new model series and really it was built around the idea of using the geometry of the shoe to help slow pronation velocity and we did that through the shapes on the midsoles and so first and foremost laterally we provided hexes that compressed more where immediately we had hexes that didn't compress um, nearly as much so they provided provided a, a sort of stability of sorts without actually changing the foams that existed on the shoe. So it was a new way for us to really consider cushioning and stability in the entire kind of underfoot setup. And so words like varus wedge, right? Or embossing and debossing where if you would actually cut the upper off a of Vongo V1, laterally you would see us emboss hexagons. You know, Fresh Foam is known for its hexagonal shape on the lateral side that provided a little bit of softness and a little bit more compression where immediately we didn't have that embossing. So it was this idea of compression versus non-compression rather than cushion medial post to support the foot all the way through the gait cycle. So V1 really changed things up in the stability space and then we went through a couple more versions. Can you tell us about the next few and what you learned? Yeah, absolutely. In the Vongo model series, all the way from version one to the version six that we'll talk about, has represented this idea of innovative stability, our vehicle or our opportunity to bring new ideas to this space. So version two and version three really just iterated on the evolutionary ideas of embossing, debossing, providing single foam experiences in stability ways. We would obviously play with new upper materials or new knit ideas in, the, in terms of a Vongo V4 had a, a, a knit collar design that just brought a new idea of saddle to provide support as well on top of what was already happening with that fresh foam midsole. So really for us, it's always been about providing innovative ideas instability and Vongo has been that vehicle for us for a long time. That didn't stop though with version 5 either where we essentially brought this idea of premium cushion, premium stability and really tied the Vongo model series to the 1080 which ultimately has led us to where we are today. So the Vongo started with innovation and it's continued on and now we've got version 6, the latest version. Can you tell us a little bit about how the stability plays in this shoe and how it's different than some of those earlier versions. Yeah, absolutely. So this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna introduce our EVA stability technology. So our innovation team, our sports research lab, really spent a ton of time researching pronation excursion, how far the foot was actually pronating, and pronation velocity, how fast the foot was actually pronating. Not only did we look at those two things mechanically in our sports research lab, we looked at that with true runners um, by using pop on their shoes to actually understand that at the exact same time. What that led us to understand is that we wanted to provide stability without compromising the cushion of the shoe. Fresh Foam X and New Balance are widely known for providing amazing cushioning experiences under the foot, but we also knew that once we started providing real traditional dual density posts up against the medial arch, you started to lose some of those energy return qualities of the foam and some of those cushioning and impact scores of the foam as well which ultimately led us to understand that our foams that are providing the best energy return and the best cushioning are actually being stretched and almost shearing when the foot is going through a pronated gait cycle. 
what this brand new EVA film here in this color you can see in this kind of pinkish coral is actually helping prevent shearing or stretching of those midsole materials. And so you're getting amazing additional cushioning and comfort with the Vongo model series without sacrificing any of that stability that this model series needs to be known for. So you definitely get a very unique underfoot experience here that's different than a lot of the stability shoes on the market. But for the runner who's maybe been in a tried and true stability shoe over the years, that standard medial post, a little more bulky, why might they want to try out a shoe like a Vongo? Yeah, what we really like to talk about with the Vongo is it's really supporting the foot from underneath the foot, not just at the arch of the foot. So really it's all about supporting the foot all the way through the gait cycle. So if you feel like you've maybe been losing out on the amazing cushioning comforts of modern day footwear by wearing a traditional stability shoe, the Vongo is gonna bring that next level modern underfoot feel while providing that pronation or guidance control all the way through the gait cycle. And it really starts with under the foot with this brand new EVA film. So we really encourage you, if you want to have a brand new cushioned stability running experience, the Vongo model series is gonna be a perfect place to start doing that. Yeah, well, you know, stability has been so similar for so sure. many years. Yeah. And now we've uh, seen New Balance take risks, provide unique options. And now we've got the New Balance Vongo V6. If you're looking to get a pair for yourself, you can find it here at Running Warehouse.